what side effect, what side effects can be expected with bevacizumab, and what are the most common and bothersome to patients, and what serious side effects? Can yeah, the, for the most part, bevacizumab is exceptionally well tolerated. The notable toxicity that we all recognize is hypertension, namely uh, modest elevation in blood pressure, typically occurring over the course of weeks to months of administration, nothing we see immediately after administration of the drug. And moreover, that's usually well treated with any of the standard oral antihypertensive medications. I often use the ACE inhibitors in conjunction with patients who get hypertension, but Ultimately, the rates of hypertension are in the range of about 10% of patients, 20% at most in selected studies, but easily treated with standard remedies. Be beyond hypertension, the, the, there are some things to look out for. For instance, proteinuria can occur rarely in patients who are on bevacizumab for months, so it is recommended that you check urine for protein periodically, but the rates uh, proteinuria are pretty low, and the only circumstance to which you would likely discontinue uh, the, uh, the bevacizumab would be if there was sort of three plus significant proteinuria, and even then you can often restart if the proteinuria diminishes again. Uh, you need to be aware of the rare finding of uh, a fistula or a perforation that can happen in conjunction with bevacizumab cardiovascular events, which have been rarely reported with bevacizumab, I mean less than 3% of cases having those types of events have been reported, but I rarely see that happening and I don't, uh, it doesn't deter me from using it. So for the most part, most patients are completely unaware that you've even added bevacizumab to their chemotherapy because it has such a little uh, effect on uh, quality of life. Could you briefly review the major side effects of the CT regimens and what are the 